Now to begin with all the boxes of shadow boxing as a group. We've warmed up and now we're shadow boxing. I'm gonna call out different commands. I might say move forward, move backwards. I might say jab, I might say cross. And they're gonna execute those combinations and those movements to the best of their ability. Now what I'm doing is I'm walking around and I'm watching their technique when they perform all of these techniques. I wanna make sure that the techniques are being performed properly because practicing endlessly isn't going to make your technique perfectly but perfect practice will so you have to make sure that the young boxers are throwing there even if they're throwing something incorrectly but they know how it should be then when they're at home or alone shadow boxing in the mirror they can correctly adjust they can look in the mirror and they can say hold on i'm not turning when i'm punching i need to turn i'm dropping my hand when i'm punching i need to keep my guard up so that's the reason why we're doing this we're going look i'm i'm adjusting Alberto's stance right now as he's had a boxing because his stance needed to be a bit wider. And now, picking up his elbow, because just refining the young boxer technique. Just like that. This is going to make it second nature for them to throw the correct technique. It's going to make it autonomous. When they see an opening, they're going to pop a shot. Here, I, I missed it. Tambi was dropping his hands. I caught, I caught it at the end there, but he was dropping his hands for the earlier shots. So that's, that's a mistake, we got to correct, and we will. But it's very good work from all the young boxers today. Very good work. Next up, we've got shoulder and knee sparring. So shoulder and knee sparring is a non-contact method of sparring. You're still gonna get some of the benefits, a lot of the benefits, like distance control, you're gonna know your reach, you're gonna learn defense, but your defense is gonna be footwork. You're gonna also be able to learn blocks, you're gonna learn how to feint, how to trick opponents. So nine out of 10 qualities that you get from sparring, you're gonna get from shoulder and knee sparring, but, it comes with the benefit that you won't leave the gym with a black eye. You won't be hurt. You won't do any damage. And you're also going to grow in encouragement, going to grow in, going to grow in your, your confidence. You're going to grow in your confidence sparring because you're not going to be hit. And you're going to, you're going to learn to start seeing boxing like you're playing tag because that's what it is. When you see elite boxers boxing, they're not worried about getting hit. They're worried about scoring points and not points being scored on them. They're playing tag.
Now we've got combination drills. Now combination drills is another form of sparring. It's technical sparring. We're sharpening our our technique when we're doing defense as well as offense. One boxer is going to throw a jab cross, a one-two, and the other is going to do a defensive skill, parrying the punch. So when we're parrying the punch, we should be deflecting it with our palm. I know I can see here some of, some of the boxers were making mistakes. I'm just going around trying to correct it, but I'm pretty sure every boxer there knows what they should be doing. So we need to just get on that and sharpen up our defensive and our offensive techniques. So when we're doing combination drills is very important don't just switch your brain on when we're doing uh, defense you've got to switch your brain on when you're punching as well so you can see me here going around and hitting the boxes turn on your foot when you're throwing your two you've got to transfer all of that body weight when you throw your two you have to sit in your stance don't stand in your stance so the first combination is a one jab cross parry parry defense now the second combination, we're adding on a left hook. So we're throwing a one, two, three. Now we're going to do a parry, parry, catch. It's very important to time this defense. Don't just have your hand up there waiting for the punch. Because like a parked car hit by a moving object, you're going to be smashed and destroyed. So you have to collide, you have to time the collision. You have to time and lean into the punch ever so slowly. Parry, parry, catch. Now, the third combination is going to be a jab, cross, left hook, right hook. Now, we're going to do the same two parries, but now we're going to add on two catches. Again, you want to time this. You want to time every single time you're going to catch the punches. And you also want to turn your hips when you throw these punches. Don't just wail your arms. You don't just swing your arms. You're going to turn your hips when you throw your hooks. And consequently, your arm is going to swing around towards your opponent. You need to shape your arm like a hook, elbows up, and punch through. You want to punch through your opponent. You're not putting power into it, but you need to throw the correct technique, and you need to trust that your partner will block the punch. Now for the final combination, jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. So we're going to go with the defense. Parry, parry, catch, catch, and vertical forearm block times two. Now it's very important that as you're punching, you're turning your hips, you're transferring your weight. You're building up momentum in the combination as you punch. But also when you defend the punch, you're doing the same thing. You're slightly turning. So when I parry with my right, I lean to my right. Parry with my left, I lean to my left. Catch with my right, I slightly lean to my right. And same thing with the left. And same thing with the vertical forearm blocks. You're moving your body because you need to give resistance to the punch. If you just place your arm in the way, a powerful punch will smash straight through. So you're using your body weight subtly and putting some resistance behind the blocks. We're switching things up now with a little fun game. We're touching gloves, jab to jab, cross to cross, constantly touching gloves. But there's a time frame, I think it's 20 to 30 seconds where I'll be touching gloves, but I might touch my opponent's shoulder and my partner has to block it. So we want to be able to just 
be punching, 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 and punch without them noticing so we can land. After the ball goes, the partners are going to swap round. But we're still going to be punching, but now I'll be defending the punch that my partner throws to my shoulder. So this is not, these, these are touches, these are quick touches. They're not heavy, big punches to the shoulder, but a quick touches that are going to help us work on our reflexes, our reaction time, and making our hands very light so we can flick them out with speed and precision. Now it's time for the part of the lesson that I know all the boxers are waiting for. They're waiting for that one-to-one -one action on the pads. Now, what we do is we put some of the boxers on the bags, some are doing exercises, and some might be doing partner work. And one person will be working with me one-to-one -one on the pads. Now when I do this, I get a real good chance to look at their technique, look at what their strengths are, look at what their weaknesses are, and we get to really grow and improve. So some of the boxers are becoming here for longer we've got different sequences that we go through some of the boxes are they're quite new so i'm just trying to test out their reflexes their reactions i'm trying to make sure they know what defense to use in what position So I hope you enjoy taking a dive into our Regal Boxing Junior classes. And if you're young, tell your parents to bring you along to learn some real boxing techniques. And if you're an adult, bring your child to the class. They'll fit right in and learn real boxing techniques at Regal Boxing Gym and Forest Gates. Be sure to subscribe, turn that notification bell on, like, comment and share.